Team Telecom. Team members are Abner Ruiz, Jason Wren, Natalie Anastasia, and Michelle Lott. This is our midterm finger puppet management presentation. Bad owner. Our TV show is about a general manager and his struggle to deal with a bad owner whose improper lifestyle leads to a ruined reputation for Finn's Steakhouse restaurant. After two mysterious reporters begin regularly coming to the restaurant, owned by Marco and run by Oliver, the restaurant's reputation takes a dive as the reporters uncover secrets about Finn's owner, Marco, and his illegal activities. Oliver begins a race against time to fix this mess and return the steakhouse to its former glory. With the restaurant's employees leaving the job little by little, Oliver refers to his best friends for help, each of which embodies principles of fine leadership to save Finn's and to learn the truth behind Marco's actions. Each episode throughout the series will focus on different principles of management. Finn's Steakhouse. Finn's Steakhouse restaurant is owned by Marco Finn and run by Oliver Jack, the general manager. It is a high-end restaurant located in downtown Tampa. Business is booming and the steakhouse is bringing in more money than ever before. The restaurant is becoming recognized statewide and is winning food awards and receiving visits from popular food critics. Character Oliver Jack. Oliver Jack is the general manager of a high-end steakhouse in Tampa, Florida called Finn's Steakhouse. He is professional, ambitious, and highly personable. Oliver is in his early 30s, married with one young child. He lives in a modest home in Tampa with his wife and four-year-old daughter. Oliver is determined to keep moving up in the restaurant business and takes his managerial position at Finn's very seriously. He is tall with dark hair and light eyes. He works hard to make sure that each customer at the restaurant is enjoying his or her dining experience. Oliver is also highly observant, which is why he is able to notice when something odd or different is going on in his restaurant. He has a good sense of humor, but he can be very serious and anxious about all things related to Finn's. Character, Nigel. Nigel is a dashing middle-aged man from England who is a good friend of Oliver and offers sound advice when needed. He graduated with a degree from the College of Business and he is an information systems analyst at a communications company. He is part of Oliver's group of friends who help him in his endeavor to rekindle the reputation of Finn's Steakhouse restaurant. He is a soft-spoken gentleman who says things as they are and always looks forward to the greatest day. Although rationality is a strong point for him, he is not a great boss but excels at being a true leader. Oliver can always look up to Nigel to make clear-headed choices. He is a regular customer at Oliver's restaurant and is a well-known patron among the bar folk as he spends his time there enjoying the establishment's fine wines. Character, Jeff. Jeffrey is a 30-something entrepreneur who is the CEO of an engineering technology firm that he started in his garage. His firm has become well-established and is a na nationwide business. Jeffrey has never been married and has no children. He loves his job and immerses himself in his company and his endeavors. He will talk about work in any social gathering. Jeffrey is, understands the value of money and respects money in both business and his personal life. Jeff is very direct and is not always the most sensitive person. He will be the first to tell you that he calls it like it is, and he will also tell you it is the best reason he hires the best human resources people he can find. I need a human to keep me grounded, he jokes at staff meetings. Character, Elizabeth. Elizabeth is a 35-year-old hardworking registered nurse. She's a serious when it comes to work but has a lot of fun when she is with her friends. She is caring and considerate to her friends and likes to help them through situations. She's very outgoing with her friends and she likes to help her friends progress as well as herself. Her use of the justice approach is to weigh out the benefits of and costs. It may not always be the right decision, 
but Oliver always takes your ten minutes of consideration. Character, Marco. Marco is the hard, partying, charismatic owner of Finn's who is the focus of an article accusing him of using Finn's as a cover for his illegal activities. Characters, Jeb and Mary. Jeb and Mary had posed as patrons of Finn's Steakhouse for some time. All the while, they were investigating Finn's owner, Marco, for a story. When the story was published, it sent Finn's restaurant into a tailspin, and Oliver Jack, the manager of Finn's, went to overdrive. Episode 1. The Nature of Management Oliver sees two different and mysterious people. He reacts to the change by watching them and has to decide how to handle it because he has a bad feeling about their intentions. Episode 2. Managerial Ethics Marco has a big night out on the town, partying and womanizing. He doesn't know it, but he is being watched, and this night will provide a lot of the supporting evidence for a news article that will rock the foundation of Finn's Steakhouse. Marco is on the loose. Look out, Tampa! Episode 3, Whistleblowing. A news article is published in the Tampa Tribune. It ties Marco and Finn's to several illegal activities. Marco's recent big night out on the town provided much supporting evidence as well as some unnamed sources close to the restaurant. Episode 4, Strategy and Decision. Oliver meets with his friends Nigel, Jeff, and Elizabeth about Marco and the article. They offer advice and input as to how Oliver should handle the newspaper article and Marco. Each of these people have a unique perspective on managing and management style. Episode 5, Leadership. In this episode, Oliver confronts the restaurant owner, Marco Finn, about his alleged drug involvement and illegal money activities that the newspaper article discussed. Oliver sits Marco down in his office and asks him to be truthful with him about what's going on so that he can help the restaurant get back to normal. Marco Finn is not receptive and takes Oliver's confrontation offensively. He tells him the best thing to do is ignore the allegations because that's all they are, allegations. Oliver does not feel comfortable with ignoring the content of the article, considering that the business is going down and Marco has been MIA. He decides to consult his friends about what his next step should be. While his friends all give him different opinions, Oliver decides he needs to remind Marco that it is he loves so much about the restaurant industry he hopes of bringing him back to being the owner he once was. He devises a plan with the employees at Finn's. Episode 6, Culture. Oliver gathers employees together to confront Marco and his friends also show up in support. Episode 7, Organizational Structure and Design. After the fallout of the newspaper article, Oliver Jack assumes a larger role in the operation and management of Finn's Steakhouse. Marco's role at the restaurant changes greatly as a reorganization takes place. Now, enjoy our trailer.